Hey guys, it's me again. Um, yeah, last Thursday didn't happen, but now it's the next Friday. Whatever. Um, so yeah, sorry I haven't been on in a while. Uh, I yeah, I look really weird right now, but whatever. I've got my glasses on and I'm tired and. But I have a very good reason for this. Oh, and you can hear the music. It's the chord. Sorry, I just want some music on. This. I don't know if you can see it. It's called The Oregon Trail. It's by Francis Parkman. It's the most boring book on the face of the planet. I have spent the last week reading it and trying to comprehend it, and it just was so boring. I spent probably four hours a day for four days getting through all 465 pages of it, falling asleep in the middle many times. So to fix that I had to see this cup, it's like what, bigger than my head practically? Um, it's filled about three quarters full of Mountain Dew last night to pull my final marathon of 12.30 in the morning, trying to finish it. But I got it done, turned it in today, yay. Um, then, let's see, what else has been going on in my life? Um, horseback riding, we got another new instructor because our old one had some issues with school and she had to quit for a while. But this new instructor, her name's Sarah, um, she scares me a little bit because she's pretty much exactly like my first instructor, reincarnated, only like a foot and a half taller. She very much wants you to work the whole time, which I love, and she's keeping on you for the little things all the time, and so I think she'll really help me be a better writer. Um, it, it's just fun. I rode Major last week, who is not the horse I normally ride, but I probably will be riding him a bit more. Um, because he forces me to really work for what I want, not have a horse that's very, knows exactly what you want to do and does it for you, so you get some practice with working harder to get what you want out of a horse. Um, and she also made us do a little bit of two-point without stirrups, which did not happen. So if anybody has any suggestions about how to do that better, put them down there. I don't know if that's down there, but in the comments. So I can hopefully get better at that. Um, I'm always open to suggestions with writing because I've just started a year ago and I love it to death, but I am not all that good. So um, there'll be a video of me writing up sometime, somewhere. I don't know. I'll say something when it's up. Um, also, as I've discovered more and more recently, this thing which is in a little case, so I don't know how well you can see it, but it's my iPod, um, is amazing because you can learn so much from it. I'm a tech geek, yeah, I like technology a lot. I love computers and learning computer languages, and it's just so much fun to me. Um, but, and websites, and HTML, and everything. But you can learn, and there's so many resources available with iPods. Podcasts are a big one I'm running into recently. Like, I have problems studying my history because I'm a very, with history, I'm a very, I need to hear it person. So I went on iTunes and searched AP US History Podcasts. And lo and behold, I found like four podcasts that can help me learn my history so I can just listen to it whenever I have the free time. And it's really nice. Um, so, you know, if there's something you want to do, think about looking on iTunes or searching the internet for a podcast because they can really help you with a lot of things. Like, I also have one right now where I'm trying to learn Japanese, but I'm not taking it at school. So I found a really good Japanese podcast called JapanesePod101.com, and it's helping me get the speech down of Japanese, and it's really nice because I can do the writing part on my own. It's how it sounds, and you just have to memorize the symbols. But it's just nice to have those different resources available to you completely for free. You can find a podcast for pretty much any language you want to learn. And 
I encourage people to try and think about doing something like that because it can really be worthwhile to you and it's good for you to not just laze around all the time. Sure, it's great for holding music and I love music, don't get me wrong. Um, but just think about doing stuff like that because it can really enhance you and it's fun to listen to some things people come up with. Like Pottercast, which I don't know if you guys know anything about Pottercast, but it's uh, a Harry Potter podcast run by the people from the Leaky Cauldron, and it's really good. I listen to it every week, and I just, I get a lot of enjoyment out of it, so I encourage you to look around at that kind of stuff and see what you like. Um, so that's about it for this week, I think. Um, I'm not going to make any promises when this will happen again, because I don't know, obviously, what happened last time I said something. Um... This weekend, I'm going to the Feast of the Hunter's Moon, which is a local renaissance festival, basically, about early America, colonial America, and it's so much fun. I don't know how we're getting there or anything yet, but I know I'm going, and it'll be a lot of fun. So, maybe later this weekend, maybe if I'm out at the barn sometime, just change of scenery like we are today. Like, right now, I'm in the office. Um, just, like, change of scenery. So, I talk to you guys later. Um, any comments, you can leave them down there, and I'll be sure to respond. Bye!